dear black man, can y'all forgive us for getting it wrong? Can y'all forgive us for getting it wrong? Can y'all forgive us for 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 being ignorant and not knowing what to do? Not knowing how to love y'all, not knowing how to support y'all, not knowing how to be there to encourage y'all, giving up on y'all. Can y'all forgive us for that? For taking and taking and and playing mind games and and just doing the unthinkable. Can y'all forgive us for that? Because we not perfect. We all been played. We all got to take a L. And once we all take our lick, then we'll be able to, to, to really heal. I love this comment because it misses one of the most fundamental aspects of sociology and anthropology. We know, and we've always known, that men who are single, that means they are unmarried, are the most dangerous people in our society. So marriage stabilizes men and keeps them from committing crimes. And so this is a fact, this is nothing new. And so I would delete this comment, but I'm leaving it up to make that point, that marriage benefits men, it does not benefit women, period. The happiest women in this country are single and childless. Public service, a fucking announcement. I'ma say this with my fucking chest because y'all are not gonna get it. Y'all don't hear me. Fuck y'all, my nail missing, but here you go. Just because a woman don't ask for much or don't ask for anything doesn't mean fellas give her the bare minimum. Why do y'all think this bitch because a woman don't sit up here and ask you and ask you and ask you and nag you and beg you to give her shit or give her money or finance her or do anything for her? That means oh, she doesn't need and want for shit. Let me let me give her the bare minimum. Bitch. The bar is not set in hell. I don't understand what the fuck they're like. Why do a bitch gotta beg y'all to do some shit? Because the bitch just sit up here and ask y'all for motherfucking money on the first date. Always get the cheese. But the bitch that don't ask for nothing deserves the fucking world and y'all give her bare minimum. Suck my dick. I hate it here. To men who love big women. I'm not a cushion. I'm not an experiment. And most importantly, I am not the one. You say I'm a fat girl with a pretty face. Translation, I'm easy to look at and run away from. I am not your toy, boy. You cannot hide me when company comes. You say you like my size well. Stop trying to fit me in your fucking closet. I literally can't. Also, stop trying to bribe me with food to sleep with you. I can eat out my damn self. You say you want to help me get in shape. Like you can mold me into the woman you're not ashamed of. Sex does burn calories, but you don't last long enough to make me shrink to make you more comfortable. I will not shrink to make you more comfortable. You want the brick house, but don't want the mighty that comes with it. Maybe you're scared because you know I have the capability to crush you. I know what it's like to be told you too much or not enough thing is I'm big. I take up space. I do not want to share my bed with men who want to devour me, but refuse to tell people what's stuck in their teeth. You're not doing me any favors. Stop acting like it is progressive that I am your fetish translation. Do not feed a pig and expect you to thank it for eating it. Uh, you know, his, the company wants him to leave and to move right. into the city where he spends most of his time at. And every fucking year, the nigga come to me and be like, you know, we don't, you know, I saw some houses down there. I'm like, well, and keep and nigga, and oh, okay, I ain't Don, going. Don, listen. Listen to what I'm saying, please. I'm, I'm, but I mean, do you understand what I'm saying? I'm no, the woman no, I'm now. Listening. I'm talking as I'm talking yeah. as the chick, the the absent chick, because I know what you're talking mm -hmm. about, sweetheart. Well, well, My well, husband says it. the same thing. Damn. My husband believes that if we pack up and go to a town or to a set city or state where the fuck he's getting that check from, he believes that it's it's like in a man's mind that the wife and children should uproot and leave as well. You know, but you know, nothing is in, indefinite. So you can be there for three weeks and have to bring your ass you. back. Well, no, so you know, that's why I'm with you, Captain. Well, well, I, 
Wait, 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 I'm wait, with you, this? Captain, because that's the same thing with my husband. This motherfucker would come bring me pictures of homes and shit. I'm like, you might as well get that shit out my fucking face. Okay, but here's you might as well get the shit out my fucking. I ain't, I ain't leaving. I ain't. That, I am not that. going to that motherfucking town. Okay, okay, what happens what? later? What he gets a contract, a two year contract with them niggas. He he the contract is null and void within a year. And now what? Okay, but here's what. So, I'm Women will avoid, just li listen to just the things that I've said. There are many women listening to this broadcast right now that would say, I cannot deal with that. But I am responsible. I am there. I'm the guy. I'm, I'm him. I did it. I'm the guy. But I can't deal with that aspect of following him. That's what I was trying to say all along. No, I don't think it's, it's, it's her dealing with the fact that she's, it, she can't follow him. Okay. The thing about it is... Let me tell y'all this, okay? One thing that men hasn't, again, you got to study the woman. A woman is like a cat. They don't like to be moved from place to place. They don't like okay. that shit. I'm telling you uh, now. Okay? I understand we don't, that. We don't, we don't like no, to be. Don't. We don't like. Listen. You don't understand. You shut up and listen. I, I'm, I want you to understand the way women are. Okay, okay? Go ahead. For one, so you'll understand it has nothing to do with leadership or following. Okay, it's go the ahead. fact that when a woman has planted her foot solid in a place, whether it's with you or not, is that, you know, an abruptly move based on finances and all of that is it because it, it, she's like a cat she doesn't like to move okay she doesn't like to unless she's got it to move the family on her own you follow my, what i'm saying my so it's point a little my, bit done no what? no we're talking you about established men sweetheart i'm not I want you to get unestablished niggas out your head for a minute. Because oh, okay. all I know is established niggas. Oh, I don't even know an unestablished ahead. Ahead. motherfucker. I'm listening. I'm listening. I want you to get that out your head because I'm, I'm talking about established men. My husband is an established man. Okay. And like I so told you several times, my father is as well. Okay. His job picks up and go, and he has to go and stay his ass, whether it's in Maryland or New York, and my mom ain't leaving Atlanta. Okay. The only thing about it is, like I said, women don't like to fucking relocate. I can We're understand talking that. about stability, and I want you to understand it has nothing to do with whether or not we will we would love to follow you. It's, the only thing is that it's something in our nature that doesn't allow it, and it, that doesn't allow it. We like stability. We, but you, you know, asked, if you ever had a conversation with a chick, she would tell you, I, I don't want to leave. But you just I don't want to leave. You just said the only way you would want to move is if you could do it yourself. It's more important. The fact that Martin Luther King is the man that fought for freedom or the fact that he was cheating on his wife. Jesus. I'm going to give you this example. He's a great father. He's a great businessman. He's a great CEO. He's an entrepreneur. He's such a boss. He's a boss. Look at that man. He's a boss. Look he's, at a, him. he's a great father. Look at him, that strong black man. He's Look at man. him being at a Look his at kid's him. game. But you're cheating on your wife. You're not a good husband. But he's great in all these other aspects. How are you a great leader, a great CEO, a great black man? You're not. You're not great. You're, not, <laughs> you're, you're not great. God, Jeez, you're good. not. That is triggering. Yeah, for oh, well, sure. I'm a good dad. You're not a good dad because you don't respect me. How the fuck you showing these kids you a good father and you don't respect their mother? You're not a great dad, my nigga. You're an okay human. Someone being a good person to you means they're a good person to you. <laughs> Someone being a good person to everyone means that they are a good person. <clears throat> Hello, my Tubbies and my Teletubbies. You notice I posted a picture of myself looking very solemn faced, very serious. And the reason why I chose this picture is because men are becoming obsolete. I just had my fuse blown in in uh, the kitchen and in my, my, my guest room. I have a guest room where I have guests that come over when they spend the night, whatever, on the weekend. And the guest room, I didn't know uh, how, what did I what, what should I do to fix the fuse? But I figured it out. I went into the room. I found the guest box, the, the, the fuse box, and I switched it on to where it's supposed to be, and I made it happen. There are times when I have a jar that is hard to open. I purchased on Amazon those grip jars, the grip jar openers, and I managed to do it. And when it comes to having children, you have so many people who are gay, Men who are gay who want children and they're willing to co-parent. So women don't have to be stuck with um 
what do they call a uh, 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 so-called, yeah, right, <laughs> good luck with that, a man who's a heterosexual, he don't really want no woman, we don't even need heterosexual men for anything. You're becoming obsolete. We're making our own money. We're paying our own bills. Anytime a woman gets married, that's just nothing but free labor because he gets a free uh, homemaker. She, she, she cooks. She cleans. She does the laundry. She rubs his joints, you know, where it's just free labor. So, you know, where are the benefits for women to get married anymore? What What's the benefit? We're making our own money. We're paying half the goddamn bills. We know how to figure it out for ourselves when something malfunctions in our home, as I just experienced just now, which is why I'm making this video, because I was like, whoa, hold up. Because normally if I had a husband, my husband would handle this. Guess who handled it? I did. And the lights are back on. Everything is functioning correctly. I need a paint job. I hire somebody to do it because I'm making enough money. So you men, you supposedly heterosexual men, you're becoming obsolete. I can even have babies and children and a father in my kid's life without you. I don't care if he's gay or whatever. What's important in a child's life is to have two good parents. It has no gender to it. They need good parents. Bye, heterosexual men. I don't think there's anything to forgive because it's useless talking to you. All right. There's you cannot break your chains. All right. You cannot break your chains and your compliance is not required at this point. Yes.